Question number two from your notes over wavelength, frequency, and energy. I know I'm going to use the formula that I wrote here because the question does not mention anything about energy. It's only asking about frequency and gives me the wavelength. Uh, you do have to remember that we will never solve for C, which is the speed of light, and we'll never give you the information for the speed of light. You need to know that you will reference your formula tables or reference materials to get the number. I want to know what the frequency is. So I'm going to plug in my speed of light, where speed of light goes. That's 3.00 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. I'm going to write the units, in this case meters per second, as a fraction because I want to write my units every time and get those to cancel out and show me the unit that my answer needs to be in. So the speed of light is equal to the wavelength of a wave times its frequency. I'm asking and I want to know what is the frequency when I have a wavelength of 2.5 times 10 to the minus 21 meters. So I have all my numbers where they need to go. I have x where it needs to go. Now I need to get the equation rearranged. So I'm going to start by dividing both sides. By 2.5 times 10 to the minus 21. So that will cancel out on this side of the equation. I bring my unit over also. So I'm going to divide 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters per second divided by 2.5 times 10 to the minus 21 meters. I'm going to cancel my units that I can cancel. So meters can cancel and that leaves me with S on the bottom, which we can write 1 over S. So that'll be my unit when I'm finished with my problem. So when I divide 3.00 times 10 to the 8th divided by 2.5 times 10 to the minus 2nd, uh, the calculator shows how the work would look and how I would enter into the calculator if I'm using my exponent button, my second comma, and so I need to report it to two significant digits because the number 2.5 times 10 to the minus 2 only has two significant digits. So my calculator gives me two significant digits, so that is my answer. I have 1.2 times 10 to the tenth, 1 over seconds. How many cycles per second? So my final answer is this right here. I'm going to work number four. Number four, I'm going to use this formula here. C equals frequency times wavelength. I wrote it wavelength times frequency. It just doesn't matter because you're multiplying those numbers together. But this is the one in the way that you'll see it on the formula chart. I will never solve for speed of light. Never give you speed of light. You have to refer to get that number. So I know that the speed of light is 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters over seconds. This time I'm going to need to calculate the wavelength. I will be given the frequency. The frequency is 5.10 times 10 to the 14th. And you see S minus 1. Anytime you see S minus 1, that is another unit for frequency. Instead of writing S minus 1, I'm going to write the reciprocal of that, 1 over S, make it a fraction. And I have my equation almost complete. 
And I'm going to answer for wavelength. Okay, so to solve, I will divide both sides by 5.10 times 10 to the 14th, 1 over S, and these cancel. Canceling out my units. M on top and one on top, that's just going to be meters. I can cancel seconds so it's M over one or just simply M for meters. So my unit for wavelength for my answer is going to be in meters. When I divide 3.00 times 10 to the 8th divided by 5.10 times 10 to the 14th, my calculator will give me this number here. I need to report it to the correct number of sig figs, which would be 3, since I the, it is the number that has the fewest numbers of significant digits. I have to look at the 2 here. The 2 does not make the 8 round. So my final answer is the wavelength of this wave is 5.8 8 times 10 to the minus 7th. This will be problem 6. This is the first type we'll see. Why is there going to be a different formula? Because the word energy is mentioned. So if you have the word energy, there's two different formulas uh, for that. It could be a two-step process. It could be a one-step process. Depends on which formula you choose and which route you choose, it may only be one. So I'm going to use one of the two energy of a photon equations. The reason why I'm going to use the one that I wrote here, the energy of, of a photon, is H times F. H is Planck's constant, which is, again is found on your formula reference materials. So you will need to refer to that to plug that number in. Never will solve for it, for it. we'll always have it. We need to know how much energy this wave has, H is a constant, so we already know that we are given frequency, that's why I chose this one. There's nothing to deal with wavelength, so I am solving for energy of a photon. Plug in Planck's constant, Planck's constant is 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34th. Make sure we include the unit joules times seconds. I'm given the frequency of this wave, so it is 6.6 .6 times 10 to the 15th, 1 over second. So this is very similar to speed of light equals wavelength times frequency. And I'm just multiplying these two numbers together. And so I have the work in the calculator when I multiply Planck's constant times the frequency of a wave. The result is... 4.3758 times 10 to the minus 18th. So I got to check my sig figs. My sig figs are 2 because of the 6.6 .6 times 10 to the 15th. So I'm going to have to look at in the calculator. I have to look at that 7. How does the 7 affect that 3? Because that would be my second significant digit. So I have to round that 3 to a 4. So it's 4.4 .4 times 10 to the minus 18th. So my units are going to be joules times seconds times 1, or joules times seconds times 1 would be give me joules times seconds over seconds. So my seconds will cancel, and my unit is simply joules. All energy is measured in joules. Question number nine could be, a, excuse me, question number seven. Hang on, I'm going to pause and get to the right question. Apologize for that. Okay, let's see if this works out to be a little bit better. A lot of work in the calculator to try to explain what it is. Uh, number seven can actually be done two different ways. The first way it can be a two-step process. It can be like uh, the first questions on the page. 
it says calculate the energy. So I'm going to use the energy formula, but I may not have to if I don't want to. What I have to have in order to use the energy formula is the frequency. So this does not give me the frequency, so I can find it by using C equals frequency times wavelength, which speed of light, 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters over seconds is equal to my unknown frequency times the wavelength that I'm given, so 4.6. times 10 to the minus 7th meters. So just like on the other examples, I'm going to answer for frequency here. So 4.6, I'll divide both sides by 4.6 times 10 to the minus 7th. This will cancel. meters cancels, which leaves me with 1 over s, which is my unit for frequency. So my answer for frequency in the first step is to solve for frequency. And I don't have it in the calculator as far as the work, but it is, here's my answer right here. And that is not the final answer, it's just the answer for frequency. So if I enter it into the calculator, that's what I get. So I'm going to have to round it to two sig figs. So that would be 6.5. times 10 to the 14th, 1 over seconds. So that's my frequency. Now I can then plug it into energy equals H times frequency, H being Planck's constant. I can do this second equation. Planck's constant is 6.5. Six three times ten to the minus thirty fourth joules times seconds. The frequency is six point five times ten to the fourteenth one over seconds. So when I multiply those two together, that will be my final answer, the energy of this wave. And that's what's happening here. I get an answer to two sig figs of 4.3 times 10 to the minus 19th. Canceling out my units. Joules times seconds times 1 is joules times seconds over seconds. Seconds will cancel. leaving me with uh, joules, so the answer is 4.3. All right, so I'm going to solve it for a one step. I'll try to leave both of these up, but there's a one step. If I don't want to do two equations with I have to use the C equals frequency times wavelength and then plug it into energy, I can simply use the second energy equation. So the energy of a photon is equal to Planck's constant times the speed of light divided by the wavelength of the wave. I can plug in Planck's constant, or excuse me, yes, Planck's constant, 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 joules times seconds multiplied by the speed of light 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters over seconds divided by the wavelength in meters, 4.6 times 10 to the minus 7th meters. So my units, I'm going to write down my units, so joules times seconds times meters over seconds 
or excuse me, uh, over, yeah, over seconds. And this is for the first part up here on the top. So I can have just meters. Okay. And then I have meters on the bottom with this one here. So meters cancel, which again leaves me with joules. All right, so when I plug the calcu into the calculator, this is this entry here. I get the same answer reported to two sig figs. It's your choice which formula you want to use. Both will give me the same answer. One has one fewer steps. Now we get to question number nine. Question number nine has nothing to do with energy, so I'm not going to use the one step or the two step um, equations I had to do in question seven. What I have to do here is I'm given wavelength in nanometers, so I would need to change anytime I have nanometers, I have to change that into meters in order to plug it into my C equals frequency times wavelength. So this is the equation I will use. Okay, but before I go to plug things in, I need to have the distance in meters. So I have 515 nanometers, and I always I set my conversions. Some people do dimensional analysis. We set ours up in the form of a proportion. We give you the conversion factor that one meter is equal to one times 10 to the ninth nanometers. And so if I have nanometers on the left side of my proportion, this will be nanometers and it's my conversion factor of one times 10 to the ninth. I would like to have my number of 515 changed to meters. So that's what the proportion would look like. So cross, multiply, divide. So 515 times 1 is 515. 515 uh, divided by 1 times 10 to the ninth, and that's what you see in the calculator as far as the first uh, entry, is 515 divided by 1 to the ninth. And you get 5.15 times 10 to the minus 7th. Now that I have wavelength in meters, I can plug it into my C equals frequency times wavelength, so 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. I'm going to write it as a fraction so I can cancel it out. I have the appropriate distance, your unit in meters. So my wavelength in meters is 5.15 times 10 to the minus 7th meters. meters cancel, divide by 515, 5.15 to the minus 7th, move it over to the other side, bring my unit, meters cancel, which will leave me with 1 over S, and that gets me in the calculator because I can only have uh, two significant digits because Actually, excuse me, three significant digits because both of those numbers have three significant digits. I can report my answer is 5.83. The calculator says 5.82. And I have to look at the next digit. Always, I have to look at the 5. And what does the 5 do? It makes that 2 round to a 3. So the frequency for this wave, the hard problem about this is you got to convert to meters. And other than that, you plug it into the C equals frequency times wavelength. 